I am totally not deleting that. Think or say out loud, I allow this reading, and let's get started, because you got a ton of fucking cards on the floor. All of them, basically. No, just kidding. I'm going to pick them all up and let's start again, because that's like, what, a third of the deck? Probably not going to do that as you're reading. Now that I picked them up, think or say out loud, I allow this reading, and let's really get started. All right, dear spirit and all beings of light, what does the viewer actually need to know most of this time? What do we need to know most of this time? What is the most truthful truth that the viewer needs to know at this time? Well, okay, okay, okay. Bunch of cards came out. Let's see what these are. Um, three of swords. It's funny when it's in reverse, your brain just kind of goes switch. Three of swords in reverse. Five, six. Eight of Swords, and then Seven of Wands. Wow. All right, let's start off with this Three of Swords in reverse. That is saying that, quite frankly, you're not looking at the situation, honestly. And it's probably the first one that just popped in your mind being like, is that what she's fucking talking about? How could you fucking know? Spirit knows, I'm just a channel. Um, because Three of Swords in reverse is saying, are you looking at things honestly? Most likely not. Instead of scapegoating or pointing fingers or being like, it's their fault in any way, shape, or form, that's not going to fix the situation. What part of the situation can you control? Sometimes just controlling your reactions and not allowing yourself to be triggered can be control unto itself for your benefit. But there are some things you are not being truly honest about, and that's part of the reason that there's delays for you going on. And whatever this is for you, a lot of people are talking crazy shit about it. I hate that. But petty people will do that when they realize how fantastic you are. They're going to talk some crazy, stupid shit. But like I said, it also is confirmation of what we were saying a few minutes ago about sometimes the best way to control the situation is to not react, to stay loosey-goosey, easygoing about the whole thing. The phrase, doth protest too much, comes from a very old-school Shakespearean thing. Um, but very often the way to tell that somebody's very bothered is they're acting bothered. And when you don't act like they have any validity, any worth, any truth, any substance to what they're bullshitting about, you really do have the upper hand then. Especially, these are like stubborn, stupid motherfuckers. You can't argue with stupid, and stupid and stubborn. Like, why waste your energy trying to push them into a place that you want them to be when they're never going to move and all you're going to do is drain yourself instead of walking away? If they're stuck and stubborn and you're capable of moving your feet and your energy, fucking move your feet and move your energy. You win in the long run by not being drained or entertained by stupid bitches. I mean, quite frankly. 6.04 on my clock. I don't know why somebody needs that message. Um... I start really questioning, you don't have to like physically question people in some of these cases, because remember this is a collective, but some of you, yes, you should actually question when you get told something and be like, who told you that? Where did that come from? That kind of stuff, and it will break up some of the bullshit. Um, remind yourself what your big picture stuff is. In a grand scale, having to do with your own life, your own worth, your own journey. How much do these super stubborn motherfuckers actually mean in the grand scale of who you are in your life? It's going to be basically zero. And their lies and their gossip and their bullshit is not going to change what your actual truth is. The only way you can fuck this situation up without succeeding is if you decide to go lower than they're going. Let them fall into the muck while you're rising to the, the good graces of heaven, so to speak. Um, and you will always shine through. And we know this for a fact because of this seven of swords. Five, six, seven of, sorry, seven of wands. Six of wands and the Um, and that is saying your faith in your truth, who you are, what you truly are worth, all those things, 
will overcome these stupid fucking obstacles that these dumb motherfuckers put in your path. You have the power to accomplish all your goals, because although this looks like the cat's being fucking hit with these things, it's not. They're literally not touching the cat. It's like, the cat's like, no, and they don't bounce off, they're not gonna, it's, you are an imp impenetrable fortress unto yourself when you want to be. And you have the power to accomplish your goals. But be careful, don't cut corners or take shortcuts that will make you dishonest in who you are as a person, because then you'll have very bad karma and consequences from it. So, at every moment that you're about to react or um, interact, ask yourself that kind of question. What will be the consequences of this shit? A lot of my clients and friends, they've said it since I was little, instead of, what would Jesus do? Which, respect to Jesus, and I'm cool for all those people that believe, we're not trying to blaspheme on that. Um, but they'll be like, what would Loren do? And it helps... Sorry, I'm Loren. Uh, <laughs> and it helps them, they say, because if I told Loren this shit, what faces would she make? What would her responses be? That kind of thing. And if it happened to Loren herself, how would she handle it? What would she say? What would she do? And they're able to slightly tweak how they would have handled it versus how they know I probably would have handled it. And they, they start saying it's almost like a loving aunt or mother figure in the back of their mind going, you're going to get a time out if you pull that shit. Or like, I'm so fucking proud of you for standing up for yourself. Are very different energies. And in each situation, only you really can know what's truly worth it. Sometimes speaking up and speaking out and speaking your truth is monumentally worth it, but it's always the time and the place. Don't ruin your good PR, so to speak, if this is a work situation, by telling somebody off. Like, I, I don't curse in front of small children. I also wouldn't use certain curse words in front of my superiors, my bosses, because that would be bad. I'm not going to tell off one of my coworkers that might have done something bad versus in front of, like, the CEO of an entire company. No, I'm going to pick a different time to look at that motherfucker in the face and tell him off. Or in the moment. But remember, in the moment, to look around at your surroundings and go, what am I trying to accomplish? You don't need to prove somebody who's wrong that they're wrong, even if they're gossiping that they're wrong. You having faith in the truth coming out and who you are and what the truth is for yourself will always win over because that energy is healthier. It's a higher vibration which makes people feel they know that you were right and this person's just being a shady brat. All right, click the link in my bio. Let's get more into this for you, because remember, this is a collective, and we want your personal reading to be completely accurate for you with all the details. So, link to read readings by Loren, and this is the only account I have. I have over 120,000 followers. Don't be scammed. Just me.